Nikki McGregor, a Huntsville student with a big dream of working in medicine, is taking on a new challenge, traveling to Guatemala to assist in providing medical care for a very impoverished part of the country. And her journey began with meeting Muskoka Algonquin Healthcare's chief of surgery and Guatemala native Hector Roldan. We came across that discussion that I had a, a nonprofit organization in Guatemala trying to build some medical uh, facilities there. She got interested in this and, um, and then um, uh, inquired about how she could join the trip. Well, Dan says he grew up dreaming of improving the medical supports for his people. And when he moved to Canada and started his medical career here, he then worked on enacting his plan by building a medical clinic in his home country. My, my idea was always to make some connections and try to see how we could help in some way uh, these areas that are impoverished. And uh, one of the places we end up uh, where we are doing the, the project is one of the, 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 the basically the poorest areas in Guatemala. It is close to Honduras, um, very, is, is called the dry corridor. And that is pretty much, there's agricultural uh, production is minimum, work, the labor force is minimum, the people struggle in that area. So uh, we end up, um, my, my, my colleague Juan Vasquez, who is the engineer um, behind as well, this whole vision, uh, end up inheriting a piece of big piece of land in that area. And that's how we started in the, organi the organization there. Then local dentist, Dr. Adrian Musters became involved after gaining his own insight in the lack of proper dentistry being offered in the region during a visit to the area. There's a great need for dentistry in Guatemala that is not be able to met but the local dentist down there. Uh, so I felt on that trip that it was, I was unfulfilled. Uh, I, I left there knowing that there was such a great need and there needed to be something done about it. So 2019, I found out that Dr. Hector Roland, one of our local uh, general surgeons, uh, was doing a, a big clinic down there and he asked me to put together the dental clinic part of it, which I felt very capable to do for him. Uh, we designed, uh, we architecturally uh, did drawings for him, we supervised the construction of the building, uh, we put together the building, we then equipped the building and then um, funded all the uh, sundries and everything and we're now training staff and getting people on board down there. So we're, uh, we're almost there uh, and in November will be my last trip to get that clinic up and running. And as mentioned earlier, after McGregor learned of this movement of Muskoka locals supporting medical needs in Guatemala, she knew she had to be a part of it as well. So I started my placement at the Huntsville Hospital in the surgical department and I met Hector. Um, he kind of told me a little bit about Guatemala in my first placement there and then I got to know him a little bit more and we talked more about it and then he introduced me to Adrian. Um, he was my old dentist so I kind of already knew him and had a little bit of a background with him. Um, and then we kind of went from there and talked about um, the things that they were doing down there, their culture, how much in need they are. Um, and I was like, I definitely want to go. I want to help and see kind of what I can do to make a difference down there. I feel uh, very impressed by, by all her work and her efforts. And then when she decided to, to join and, and took interest in this, it was another confirmation of uh, all she is, right? Or uh, all the, the, her personality and her, her um, career pathways and wishes and ambitions. I know it'll change her life. Um, in, um, in 2004, it changed my life. Uh, I just like literally fell in love with the people. And then you also sense, you get that sense of responsibility. Like we're very privileged to live in Canada and much of the world is in desperate need. Uh, Rotary does focus on the local community. You know how much good we do in the local community and I'm certainly all about that. But in the back of your mind, you always realize that when you see pictures of people on TV and you see the immigration problems and the wars and everything else going on, you just feel that responsibility, you have to do something. So it, it's great that Nikki uh, is stepping up, it will change her life. But this trip isn't cheap and McGregor and her family can't take on the costs alone. So she's looking for community support to help her provide help to this Latin community. So we're hoping to raise $10,000, hopefully before November so that we can get the necessities purchased before we leave. 
Um, we might actually buy them down there. We're going for a 10-day trip. Um, and hopefully maybe we're going to go to some schools to kind of teach them how to properly brush their teeth so that they don't get rotten teeth.